June. Uh, tayo ay uh, nandito na sa chapter 12. Spirituality and spiritual gifts. So uh, dahil dito ay uh, ito yung ating outline. Mahaba ito. No? So parang kalapit lang nagawa ko yata. So anyway, si Apostol Pablo ay hiningkayat niya yung mga taga-Kurinto to recognize the diversity of the, uh, the spiritual gift, gifts. Uh, it is still uh, on the subject of unity in the body of Christ. And this, uh, this should exercise in a way that is according to, to love. That is in verse chapter 13 to build up the local assembly. So Paul, in the beginning, he decided the uh, he desire for the Corinthian to know the diverse the spiritual gifts. Uh, so, uh, uh, dito sa verse 1, dito tayo sa the basis for unity. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to the dumb idols. However, you were led, therefore I make to, known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus is a curse, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Uh, ito yung verses 1 to 3 of chapter at 12. So dito ay uh, Paul does not wish that the Corinthian will be uh, or to be uh, unaware of their spiritual gifts. Now uh, verse 1 dito yung ating outline dyan, concerning spiritual gifts. I do not want you to be unaware. Uh, verse 2, the problems of past ignorance. Do you know that when you were pagan, you were led astray to dumb idols, however you were led? And number three, the partnership in the present declaration. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus is accursed, and no one can say, Jesus is Lord except the Holy Spirit. So, uh, the word gift actually is added by the translator. Literally, uh, Paul now addressed spirituals uh, after discussing all the area of uh, carnality of the uh, Corinthian uh, brethren. But adding gifts is justified by the context. It has to do with the, uh, the gifts or abilities that the Holy Spirit gives uh, to those believers that he endures. Uh, so kahit na wala ito sa original, yung, uh, it is just, justifiable because of the context that he is uh, discussing actually the spiritual gift. So, spiritual gifts literally means the uh, spirituals. The Greek word is ton pneumaticon. Paul used uh, the word pneumatica when he wanted to emphasize the spirit on the word puma. And he used charismata gifts when he wanted to stress the gift. And the gifts a gift. Yeah. Paul use of the Greek word uh, pneumaticon, it appears to refer primarily 
to the people who are, or the Christians, who are spirituals. Uh, so, uh, but as I said, the, uh, the context is actually is discussing the, the gifts, the spiritual gifts. So Paul is trying to say, I do not want you to be unaware or ignorant. The Corinthians are given a reminder that is good also for us. Perhaps we are ignorance of things regarding spiritual gifts. And uh, we should not be, as we are already uh, matured or uh, been in the checks for so long. Uh, so uh, uh, in this letter, Paul actually, uh, let me see if you know that letter. So in his letters, all the letters that Paul wrote, they, he named three things that uh, a Christian, or oh, he does not want uh, the Christian to be ignorant. Uh, so, so Romans chapter 11, 25, he don't want, uh, he don't want us to be ignorant of God's plan. Then he did us uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1, he also uh, told us, don't be ignorant of spiritual gifts. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, don't be ignorant about the second coming of Jesus Christ and the eternal state. So, so uh, Dito uh, chapter 10, verse 1, I, he wants us to not be aware. We should be aware of the, the spiritual gifts. So, uh, so a spiritual Christian is a believer who is under the control of the Holy Spirit compared to one under the control of his flesh uh, or her flesh or under the control of demonic spirit as discussed in chapter 10, verse 20 to 21. So, uh, uh, number two on the basis for our unity is the problem of past ignorance. Uh, so, maybe uh, many of the Christian uh, <coughs> believers has been a pagan as their background. They were <clears throat> converted from <clears throat> the pagan uh, religion before. So various influences had led the, them away for the worship of the true God into idolatry. So Paul wanted the Corinthian Christian to remember that their past pagan idolatry did not prepare them for the accurate uh, understanding of the spiritual gifts. That's why he's trying to uh, tell them that before you are in the religions of pagan and you were as a lead uh, away from the true worship of the true God. Uh, so uh, actually he contrasts here uh, the uh, their uh, situation before as a pagan they were lead to uh, a false worship then they were lead by the holy spirit as we see that in uh, here and that is in verse 3 number 3 so the partnership are in a present declaration. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus is a curse. 
and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Here, Paul laid down the broad principles of discerning uh, matters uh, regarding spiritual uh, gift. And we will judge uh, things by how they relate to uh, Jesus Christ. So there is actually a contrast here. What you wear, I, I didn't put that there. No. So what is our, or what is the, uh, the situation before they become a Christians? What you wear, they were pagans. They came from uh, the uh, nations that does not uh, believe on the true God. Now what you are, you are a believer. When you are in a pagan religion, you are led astray to dumb idols. And when you are here in the present uh, time and present situation, you are brought to Jesus. And you used to say Jesus is a curse. Now you see Jesus is Lord. So that, that's the reason why a person who has been converted to Christianity, he could not say Jesus is a curse because this is what he used to be. And now you say Jesus is Lord. So in other words, there is no middle ground between two position, whether you curse Jesus or acknowledge that he is the Lord. So probably some, some of you will say that uh, uh, although I'm not a Christian before, I never cursed Jesus. But the, the situation here is that when you are not a Christian, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 11, verse 23, he said, he who, who he, <clears throat> he who is not with me is against me. And he who does not uh, uh, gather with me scatters. So, <clears throat> in other words, if someone is not a Christian, then he is the enemy of of Christ. So ultimately, he is against Christ. In effect, he is anti Christ. So the point is, you are on the other side when before you become a Christian. But now, when you are lead to uh, Christianity, you don't curse Jesus, but you acknowledge him as the Lord. And so, uh, so uh, the partnership in the present declaration, what the people said about Jesus was especially important. No one motivated by the Holy Spirit would curse Jesus Christ. Likewise, no one would uh, sincerely acknowledge that Jesus is Lord unless the Holy Spirit had some influence over him or her. So the Holy Spirit laid those under his control to glorify Jesus, not the dumb idols with their speech. Of course, we know that. The idol does not uh, speak. And so, <clears throat> so we are now in partners with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the basis of our unity. The basis of our unity is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is the one who leads us to them. No? And so when you baptize, the, you receive the Holy Spirit. He is now leading you to acknowledge that Jesus Christ 
is the Lord. And so that is how we become united. And the basis of our unity is uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, oh, oh, nandito pala, nalagay ko pala, no? Akala ko hindi ko nalagay. No? So, so what we you wear and what you are before you become a Christian and now that you are a Christian. You are from the pagan nations. Now you are a believers before you are led astray to dumb idols. Now that is true in the Philippines. No? Uh, we are came from a religion that we are fond of uh, following uh, all idols that created by men. No? Even we uh, followed them in procession. No? Now we are brought to Jesus through the teachings of the gospel. Then you used to say Jesus is a curse. Of course, I said some of us don't do that. But our actions actually were against Jesus. Now you say Jesus is the Lord. So next is the uh, the principle of unity. Now there are varieties of gift, but the same spirit. And there are varieties of ministries and the same Lord. And there are varieties of effect, uh, effects in other, and other, other translation activities, but the same God who works all things in all. And so actually, if you look at that, the three uh, members of the Godhead is there, the Spirit, uh, Jesus Christ, the Lord, and the the Father, God. Uh, so, all these things are actually related to uh, God's giving us the Spirit. Uh, so that is the principle here. So Paul now proceed to mention three areas in which Christians are different. He does this to show that despite of these varieties, we still have unity. So the first, the, we have here the principles, the unity in the midst of different gifts, uh, unity in the midst of different ministries, unity in the midst of different effects or activities. And so, uh, so in verse four, although there is only one Holy Spirit, it gives many different abilities or varieties of gift to different people of Christians. There is in, indeed a diversity of gift. Yet there is only one giver who works through the diverse gifts. Paul will go on to list some of the some of the some nine uh, spiritual gifts in the, the following verses that we will discuss tonight. And so what we are seeing here, we are given. Uh, various uh, gifts but it, the giver is only one. There is diversity of gifts given to different Christians but still the giver is only one. That is the Holy Spirit. So Paul is trying to tell us here that uh, 
For while there are varieties of gifts, ministries, and effects, they are all work through um, uh, they are, they are work in the, uh, the church. We are united in doing that to uh, the church to our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the church is actually <clears throat> referring to the body of Christ later on here. Okay, so uh, so unity in the midst of different ministry. So there are varieties of ministry and the same Lord. Yung kanina, spirit na dito ay Lord. No? So ministry probably had in, uh, in mind the different gifted offices in the church, such as the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastor, teachers, as Paul also described in uh, Ephesians chapter 4. So Paul point is clear. Although there are different offices or ministry, it is the same Lord granting the offices and directing the services or ministries in the church. So there are different gifts given to different people, but the same giver, the Holy Spirit. Here, different uh, ministries, but the same Lord who directs that ministry. Uh, so, uh, we know that, no? that uh, uh, of course, we don't have the apostle now, but we have the evangelists and the uh, pastors and teachers in the church. Unity in the midst of different effects. Some translation uh, activities. And there are varieties of effect, but the same God who works all things in all person. So there are different varieties of effect or working. The word, the Greek word is energy mata, or the manifestation of the spiritual power at work. So there are in the midst of uh, unity in the midst of different manifestations of the powers of the Holy Spirit. Yet, the same God is responsible for giving all these activities or effects or manifestations of the Holy Spirit. So the Greek word for activities uh, diversities or activities of some translation is also energy matter, where we get the word energy, energetic, energize. Uh, this is the word of active, miraculous power. Uh, so uh, God is the one who caused the uh, diversity in manifestations of miraculous power. So it is the same word as working in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. Uh, when we said working, working of the miracle. So all of this different uh, activities means that God display and pour out his Miraculous, miraculous power in different ways. But it is always the same God who's doing the work. So that is the principles of unity. There is different things given to us. There are different uh, gifts, different ministries, different uh, manifestations of the miraculous power, but yet the source is 
only one, and that is God. Because we have only one source, that is the basis of the principle here of our unity. Only one give us. So this is a, this is a, uh, Paul is telling them that what you are before, you are led by the demons or Satan. And that is on uh, uh, his concerning with the Corinthian Christians. But now, all of these are manifestations given by the Holy Spirit, by God. The three members of uh, Trinity. So letter C, oh, let me see that. So just as the Spirit, Lord, and God are distinct, yet, Closely related in verses four to six. So are the gift, ministries, and, and effect or activities. All of these are gifts, meaning <clears throat> some are some gifts are ministries, that is the standing offices or positions in the church. Some gifts are activities, miraculous event or outpouring at particular time and place, such as the manifestations of the Holy Spirit mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. So uh, what we are saying, they are of the same source given to different people with different uh, gifts. So the principle of variety or diversity, that is uh, verses seven to 11. But to each one is given the manifestation of the spirit for common good. For the one, for two, for two, one is given the wisdom, the word of wisdom, to the spirit and to another the word of knowledge according to the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit and to another gifts of healing by the one spirit and to another the eff effecting, uh, effecting of mirac mirac miracles and to another prophecy and to another distinguishing of spirit and to another various kinds of tongues and to another the interpretations of the tongues. But one and the same spirit works all these things, <clears throat> distributing to each one indiv individually just as he wills. And so, uh, so we read here uh, that uh, the text is describing uh, some of the people give. And uh, we know that there are some spiritual gifts that uh, uh, given to us actually, uh, but uh, only nine uh, mentioned here. So this is not uh, inclusive of all the uh, uh, spiritual gifts, but these are representative of the gifts of God given to, to men at this time. And so, uh, okay, so. So variety, uh, variety is given by the spirit that is in verse, uh, the outline nothing, it's a text that you don't know. Uh, 
Uh, variety is given for the common good. Variety is given in a way in which the gifts are described. That is in verse eight to 10. No? Variety is given according to God's will. So <clears throat> number one, variety is given by the spirit. But to each one is given the manifestations of the spirit. So here is one definition of the spiritual gift. The spiritual gift is manifestations of the spirit. When you see the spiritual gift in action, you are seeing the Holy Spirit at work. So, uh, so we know that the Holy Spirit is invisible. You cannot see him. You can see, you can only see where he is at work. So sometimes for, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ tells us that uh, the Holy Spirit, he said, is like a wind. So you can see the effect of the wind. You can see the leaves and the, cl and, and the clouds and the sun and the sun being blown away. You can see the flag, the flags uh, uh, flapping. And you can see the three branches bending or moving, but you are not actually seeing the wind. You are only seeing the effect of the wind. In the same thing, when you see someone using a spiritual gift in a spiritual manner, you are seeing the physical effect of the workings of the Holy Spirit. That is why the given to its one is given the manifestations of the Spirit. So each believer, regardless of his or her gifts, ministry, and manners and extent of God's blessings, demonstrate the Holy Spirit through his or her life. Yeah, not only uh, we know that at this time, miraculous, but our time, in our time, it is, uh, we are demonstrating actually the work of the Holy Spirit. We talk about the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit dwells in us, the work that we are doing, like love, like helping other people, that is the manifestations of the work of the Holy, Holy Spirit in our life. So the point here was not that each believer has a gift. No. So, uh, Uh, variety in give, uh, give, uh, is given for the common good, but to each one is given the manifestations of the Spirit for common good. Uh, so here, he introduced the word for. That is the purpose. This is the reason that the spiritual, spiritual, uh, uh, spiritual gifts are given. The purpose of the spiritual gear gifts is for the common good. They are for the common good. They are for the good of those who are part of the body of Christ. So the, uh, the ministry that given to us, it is not for your own good. No? It is for the good of the church, the common good. This means that the way you use your spiritual gift or gifts is very important to me. 
Your spiritual gift has been given to you for my benefit or for our benefit. And my spiritual gifts has been given to me for your benefit, for all benefit in the body of Christ. And so uh, number three, uh, variety is given in the ways in which the gifts are described. So verse eight to uh, 10. For to one is given the words of wisdom through the spirit and to another the words of knowledge according to the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit, and to another gift of healing by one spirit, and to another effect of the miracles, and to another prophecy, and to another distinguishing of spirit, to another various kinds of tongues, and to another interpretations of tongues. So here, uh, Paul described the nine uh, gifts given to uh, Christians. So, the word of so the word of uh, wisdom. So this is the unique ability to speak forth the wisdom of God, especially in an important situation. No? As shown in Acts chapter seven, Stephen, he received that wisdom because he was led by the Holy Spirit or Paul in Acts chapter 23. So these are words. This is not the wisdom that uh, we acquired. No? So the Holy Spirit led them to speak the wisdom that came in from God. Uh, if you look at uh, how Stephen uh, spoke the wisdom of God. The word of knowledge. So the unique ability to declare knowledge that can only be revealed supernaturally as shown in Jesus, Matthew chapter 17, Acts, uh, Paul in Acts chapter 27, uh, verses 10 and 23 to 26. So uh, ito wala tong article, no? da knowledge. No? Because it is the utterance of the uh, words of knowledge and uh, the wisdom. Ito yung uh, wisdom or knowledge na binigay sa kanila na sinasabi nila, sinasalita nila noong panahon na yan, kagaya ni Stephen nga, sabi ko nga kanina, no? The gift of faith. Through faith, uh, although faith is an essential part of every Christian life, uh, we know that faith, uh, the basis that we uh, have uh, obeyed uh, God through in the baptism. But here, the gift of faith is the unique ability to trust God against all circumstances. Like for, for example, Peter did when he walked out of the boat onto the water in Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 33. So he had trusted God or Jesus Christ at the time when he walked uh, in the water. But when his trust diminished, he began to sound in the water. Yung panampalataya niya ay uh, 
Uh, yung mihina habang nakikita niya yung uh, yung mga hangin, yung alon. And he feel scared. No? So, nabawasan yung kanyang trust sa Panginoon. Yun ang faith dito. No? The ability to trust God. This is not the saving faith when we begin or began as a Christian. So the gift of healings, the power which at particular times the apostle received from the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit to cure diseases, a power which is not only uh, resident in them. For Paul could not cure Timothy, nor remove his own turn in the flesh, because it was given only on extraordinary occasion, though perhaps more uh, generally than many others. So yung healing, it is given only for a particular time. The working of the miracles. The word uh, dynamis came from this word, or power, uh, or acts of power. So this described when the Holy Spirit chooses to override the law of nature. So, kaya, you miracles actually it is against the nature. As a pilot might use a manual controls. So it is a law of nature working in or through an available person. So in a miracles, you know, it is against the law of nature. So number six, prophecy. The telling forth of God's message in particular situation, always in accord with his own word and word and his current work. Sometimes this has the characteristic, the characters of foretelling the future, as we found in Acts chapter 21, 10 to 11, and Acts chapter 27. Verses 21 to 26. These are verses that uh, the word prophecy is uh, is about foretelling. So you are telling, you are uh, prophesying for the future. But here, the uh, context is uh, this is telling forth. No, you are speaking. The, the word of God. Some people say this is the uh, the way the preachers speak in the pulpit. Prophecy. Teaching the word of God. So of course, uh, at that time, they don't have the Bible. They have only books. Probably one book or copies of that. So uh, the person who stand uh, on uh, during worship, he is actually uh, inspired by God. And he is foretelling like the apostles and some of the men of oh God. So number seven is discerning of spirit or distinguishing of spirit was apparently the gift of unusual discernment that enabled the person to tell whether a person was genuine or counterpart. Namely, came from the spirit or from the false spirit. Thus, it has a connection to prophecy, uh, similar to the connections between interpretations and tongues. So, So yung prophecy is telling about uh, about God or is telling about the the future. 
So, may mga membro sa Corinthian na pag isang tao, isang Christian ay believers na prophesy he has the ability to distinguish whether it is from God. Yan ang nga, descending spirit, magpartner ito, no? yung prophecy of descending spirit. So he is prophesying the person who has uh, distinguishing of the spirit, he can distinguish whether it is from God or from the demon. Now the same thing also, no? uh, dito sa uh, the gift of tongue. Yung gift of tongue, pag magsalita ka, dapat meron siyang interpreter. Kasi siya ay nakalam, tama ba yung, uh, yung sinasabi mo? No? So, uh, the gift of tongue. The ability to speak in one or more languages that the speaker had not learned. No? However, the language do not seem limited to human languages. Nevertheless, they were they were intelligible with interpretation. They were not just gibberish. Hindi ka nagmumumble or something that you speak which are not actually words. So that is the, uh, the definitions of, the, of this gift. They are intelligible. Intindihan siya yung words mo. Kaya ma-interpret ng uh, sunod dito yung interpreter of tongue. So the person with the ability to interpret languages could accurately translate what a tongue speaker said so that others present would know or could know the meaning of what he or she is saying. So, kaya may magka-partner, no? So, these are uh, varieties of gifts. But in verse 11, varieties is given according to God's word. But uh, one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually just as he will. So here is another reason for unity that we have. And the reason against, in the sense of superiority regarding the gift. Some, some people said the, the gift of tank is superior. But here, we are telling that God is giving this to individually as he wills. So they are distributed not according to the will of man, but according to God's will as he wills in our text in verse 11. So it is not learned. No? These gifts are not learned, the spiritual gifts, but these are given by the Holy Spirit. And so uh, letter D, we are one. No? I think we, we could not finish this, but in a way. So uh, that is in verses uh, 12 to 31. The body is one, that is verses 12 to 13. And the necessity of being different, uh, verses 12, 14 to 19, uh, chapter 12, verses 14 to 19. Then they're interdependent of the parts upon each other, you know, verses 20 to 26. The provision for his spiritual gifts, 27 to 31. So we let us look at the uh, the uh, uh, 
actually uh, some some group some um, uh, scholars uh, actually uh, group this as the body of Christ. No? We are one in the body of Christ. And so verses 12 to 13 it says, for even as the body is one and yet has many members and all the members of the body, though they are many are one. So also is Christ. For one spirit, we were all baptized into one body whether Jews or Greek, whether slaves or free, then we are all made to bring of one spirit. And so, let me see that bit. So Paul is discussing here the unity in the body. We are only one body that is the body of Christ. So he's not telling about yourself or any members of the body of the church, but it is actually referring to uh, the body of Christ that we are a member of. So we are part of a body. So we should not think as another as part. You, 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 you don't think it, you don't think yourself as only part of the body. But we need, we need to think that we are a body of Christ. Hindi mo isipin yung sarili mo, no? Ay, bagay ako ng ni Christ. But here, Paul is speaking about all members of the church in one body. So, we are united by spiritual baptism. For by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. So, this is not actually uh, the so-called... Uh, <clears throat> Baptisms of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> For you are one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. So when you come to Jesus and obey him as your Lord and Savior, you were given a place in his body. You are added into the church when you are baptized. So you were placed into the body of Christ and you will identify with him through baptism. So we know that there are different baptisms in, in the, uh, the Bible, but the, the concept of baptism that uh, we study in the scripture actually is uh, you are um, baptized to be identified. So for example, the baptism of John in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, John's uh, baptizing the people to identify themselves with the coming kingdom. That's why he said, repent for the coming of the kingdom of the kingdom is at hand. So his baptism is uh, to identify themselves or the people with the coming kingdom. So the Christian baptism in Acts chapter 2, verse 38 to 41, the believers and they are, who were baptized is to identify themselves with Jesus and the cleansing power of his death, burial, and resurrection. That is why we have uh, uh, practice of practicing the Lord's Supper because it reminds us that, uh, that the baptism that we have in Jesus Christ is actually we are identified with the death, 
burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so that is how the, the uh, baptism is. It is to identify us to, this is not a membership. But when we're saved, we're added to the church. Acts chapter 2, no, verse uh, 41. Uh, so we are added. So we become part of that one body. So uh, actually Christian baptism reveals the two essential elements of the new birth. And this is actually how uh, explained John chapter 3. So these are the obedience to baptism and the receptions of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus joined this together, uh, essential element by his requirement that people be born of the water and born of the Spirit. So Peter joined them on Pentecost by the command that all people should repent and be baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. So yung, yung gusto ng Panginoon as discussing, discussing sa ano, kay John, I, a new birth is through uh, baptism and reception of the Holy Spirit. So kaya sa Acts chapter 2, ay nakikita natin doon ang kaman ay repent and be baptized and you will receive forgiveness because you repent and you will baptize you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit so dalawang element ano? the Holy Spirit the baptism of obedience I mean that the obedience through baptism and the uh, reception or the receiving of the Holy, uh, Holy uh, Spirit according to Koopman no? yung commentary ni Koopman so it is always uh, the baptism the idea of identification so uh, Romans chapter 6 when we baptize, we are identified with the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to Romans chapter 6. So that is the essence of uh, united by the spirit, the spiritual baptism. For one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. And it makes sense because when we baptize, we receive one spirit. That is the gift of the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit itself. So the body is one. Let me see what it is. Number two. Unity, united in unity that transcends all boundaries. For one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greek, whether slave or, or free. And we were all made to drink of one spirit. So here, Paul is saying there is no one church for the Jews and another church for the Gentiles. There is no church for slaves and another for freemen. There is no one church for upper, upper middle class and another for the street people. There is no one church for white and another for black and Hispanics and 
uh, Hispanic no? or and Haitians. So the figures of, so that is what we are telling you. That the only one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. So yung boundaries na makikita natin dito, ano yung mga boundaries na yan na makikita natin dito? Your uh, nationality, your color. And so uh, there is no more, in the body of Christ, there is no identification whether you are a Jew or a pagan or a Greek. Whether you are a slave or free. But all of these are one in the body of Christ. Regardless the uh, situations or circumstances in your life. Your color, your, your money, it doesn't matter. You are one. We have unity and there is a boundary because we were baptized into one body. So the uh, prejudices that existing for long time between Jews and, and Gentile are no longer there. Before the Jews will not even eat at the same table with the Gentiles. But now the barrier is destroyed because each one will baptize into one body. So the necessity of being different. Ayot, natapos ko ito, no? Verses uh, 17, no? this is not 14, no? This is 17. I think. If the whole body were an eye, we will the, the hearing be if the whole body were hearing, we will be the sense of smell be. How, how, but now God has placed the members, each one of them, in the body just as he desired. And if they were all one members, we will be the body be. That is the question that we have here. So that is the necessity of being different. So verse 14, the many, the many, Members body, for the body is not one member, but many. So just as the body is made up of some total of its part, so also the body of Christ is made up of different members that are very different from one another. So we're to equity, uh, equality of belonging. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I will not a part of the body. If it, it is not for the reason any, it is not for this reason any, the less part of the body. And if it, and if the ear should be say, 
because I am not an eye, I shall not be part of the body. It is not for this reason any less part of the body. So verse 15, now you, we are united and we receive different gifts. And Paul described here the necessity of different, different gifts, different uh, uh, ministry that we have. This were uh, Corinthian believer who was brought into this line of thinking. They thought that because they did not possess certain spiritual gifts, they are not part of the Holy or the part of the body of Christ. So, so may mga kapatid tayo noon na yung line of thought nila ay They were not uh, members of the church because they have no gifts. But of course we know that each one were given a gift. Uh, the, the problem is that we don't uh, 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 understand that uh, our uh, parts in the body. So belonging. So, so perhaps Paul uh, chose the feet, hand, ears, and the eyes as an example because of their prominent in the body. Even though they are prominent and important, they cannot function alone. They need each other. That is true, no? If you are given a ministry, it does not mean that it's belong to you. No? It belongs to or for the benefit of the whole church. So if you are functioning in the body of Christ as a hand or feet, you are actually belongs to the body and you cannot function alone. You see, the, the mind is connected to the hand. So what the mind, the mind think, the feet acts if he is thinking about the functions of the feet. The same with other parts of the body. And so the equality of belonging, you know, verses 12 to 15. So Paul says, or Paul wanted the, the Christian who might exclude others because they don't appreciate their place in the body to recognize the fact of unity. So may mga kapatid tayo, no? Na inisip nila, hindi naman tama, hindi naman yun kristyano talaga, no? So, uh, in the church, we are equal. This is the good thing. The only place in the whole world that we are equal is the church. Kasi dito, kahit nanay mo, matatay mo, brothers and sisters and tawag mo. So we are equality of belonging. We are equal to, to God. So the slaves and the master, outside the church, they are not equal because still the slave is still slave. But in the church, a slave could be an elder and the masters of the house could be a deacon. So But that is how the equality of belongings in the church. So number two, the imbalance of uniformity. If the whole body were an eye, where will be the hearing be? 
if the whole were airing, hearings, will, where will the sense of smell be? So a healthy body has many different parts of the body to support many different functions. So it is not enough for the check to support one function or function and to ignore the rest. To do that, we will cripple the chairs. And so that's why the analysis, if the, the body cannot work properly, if all are hands or if all are eyes, the body must have different parts and gifts or it will not work together effectively as the body. So pag sinasabi na yung analogy dito that we are a, a body, we are a parts of the body, you could be the eye, you could be the heart, you could be the feet, but then you cannot function only yourself. You can function all in the ministry of Christ. So, ganun yung sa katawan, no? pag, ma, pag hindi nagpa-function yung isa, may yung katawan, hindi makagawa ng mabuti. Kung may sakit sa puso, ay na, dandahan na siya. No? Hindi na siya pwede magtrabaho ng maigi. No? So, that is how important you are in the church. Uh, you could not say that you are excluded from the, the body of Christ. Kaya nagmumukmuka, no? You should use your gift or ministry. So we are different by design. Verse 18. But now God has, but now God has placed the members it's one of them in the body just as she desired. So God has made the body as a corporate group of many working parts. He is the one who assigned various function to the different parts of the body. This means that when you, you take the people who are different and try to make them the same, you are fighting against God's design. Kasi, iba-iba ang disinyo sa atin. No? In the church, when you are members of the church, you are designed to do this. No? Do not resist it. Ang pinipilit mo maging song leader ka, no? hindi ka naman pwede maging song leader. Kasi sintunado ka. No? So you are not functioning well. Because that is your not, that is not your gift. So we have design, different design. As he please. No? So why is the foot a foot and a hand a hand? Because it is the desire of the designer that made us. So the hand cannot take uh, no pride for being a hand. And the foot the same thing, cannot take shame of being a foot. It serves in the ple pressure, pressure of the designer. That it was designed that you are like that. As he pleased. In the design, we will see the wisdom of the designer. Anybody has something, but nobody has everything. So, so that is the will of God. No? He decided his will is you have to acquire this gift. The other one is desire other gift, not the same with you. 
but these various gifts work together for the glory of God, for the growth of the body of, child, of Christ. So, wala na, no? Wala na. So, next time, we will go to next, ano? Yung, uh, natin, no? Outline natin. So, next time, we will go to the interdependence of the part. So although we are designed differently, but we are working together in the body of Christ. And not only that, we are interdependent part upon each other. Meaning you cannot work with you, with you alone. You need to work as a team as a one body. Hindi ka, kaya nga meron tayong mga leaders no, sa church. Because we are independent, interdependent to each other. So yeah, we are united. Although we have diversity of gift in the church or ministry. So may mga tao sa church, for example, ay magaling sila sa music. Pero hindi naman sila magaling sa evangelism. But it does not mean na he will not part uh, a part of that evangelism. It does not mean that because you don't uh, know, you are not a song leader, you will not sing. That is our part. So we are interrelated to each other. So, do you have any questions so far? Brother Bert? No, oh, naku na nagising mo ako. Si Moon, gising na gising. Ah. Akala ko naka anesthesia ka pa. Anesthesia, pero yung huh? lalamunan hindi naman, ang lalamunan hindi naman anesthesia. <laughs> ang katawan lang. Kumupa na nung nalaman ko na nandyan ka. You're the healer. Spiritual gifts mo healer. <laughs> Kasi mas maganda ang topiko natin, yun at unity of the body. Mm-hmm. Kaya yung uh, sinabi mo rin kanina na spiritual <laughs> gifts. Ganda yan, unity of the body. Lalo na sunod, interdependence. Uh-huh. Kaya nga sinasabi natin, no one is an island. Di ba? No one is an island. Ganyan sa church. Di ba? Uh-huh. Pero sunod na lang natin pag-usapan yan, interdependence of the, of the members of the body. Uh-huh. Pero ngayon, nga pinag-usapan mo na rin ko kanina yung unity of the body. Kung minsan tayo may mga kapatiran tayo, no? Maganda yan unity of the body. Kung atin ipatupad na yung pagkakaisa tayo, unity of the body. Subalit, within the unity of the body, kung minsan may pinapapasok tayo which is not Sabi mo kanina mga mahina o hindi part or hindi siya role player sa body. Mm-hmm. O masabi man natin na hindi siya totoo part of the body. Ibig, ibig ko sabihin, nagpapanggap lang na siya ng Church of Christ. Pero hindi siya part. Oo, so, lang natatanggap siya ng na Church of Christ. Kaya lang, nilagyan niya lang ng kwan, nilagyan niya ng antay. Church of Christ, antay. <laughs> Pero hindi pa rin antay eh, kasi Church of Christ na nilagay niya eh. Pero antay pala. Uh-huh. Pero kinikiter natin siya. Ito pa ulit-ulit na aking palagi tinatanong kasi madalas ito natinig ng iba dyan na mga na, na, nakukonvince sila na okay lang okay lang na papasukin natin itong mga hindi part of the body. Okay. Uh-huh na kung minsan sabihin nila, ay hindi naman ako nanggugulo sa inyo eh. Hindi naman ako magsasalita ng laban sa inyo. Pero narinig ko sa inyo kanang nakaraan, hindi man sila nanggugulo, hindi man sila nagsasalita, pero ang stand nila na sila lang ang totoo. Tayo hindi totoo. 
'di ba? Kasi mga aantay. Paniwala nila na sila ang totoo. Mga kung ibalik natin sa mga argumento nila, sila conservative, tayo liberal, parang ganun. Na ibig sabihin, within their mind, sila ang tam tama. Pero ang ginagawa ng iba, tinititer natin, pinapasal pinapasalita natin sa mga activities natin. Tapos sinasama natin sa mga gawain, mga lalo na sa mga ano to, mga leadership seminar, mga ganun, o retreat. Minsan nagagalit sila kapag sa aong nakuhan ko yan eh. Kami mention. Bakit eh? Hindi naman nang gugulo eh. Ngayon ang tanong ko. To what extent? To what extent ito mga tao? Kasi unity. Pwede ba pa natin magiging unity dyan sa sila sa sasama natin sa gawain? Itong mga tao nito. Alam natin from their view. Iba ang kuha nila kaya lang. Nagpapangga para mga lubo ito eh. Nagsusok ko naglalagay lang ng kuha. Pero naghahanap lang ng pagkakataon na mama, matutuka siya. Mahihila oh, dyan sa ating grupo. To what extent na bigyan natin sila ng... Kuan, kasi may mga kapatid pa natin yan na ganyan eh. Ganyan ang uh, kuan, eh. dami dyan. Na gusto nila na okay lang yan. Na mga ito, mga antay, okay lang yung magsalita sa atin. Bigyan natin sila ng part sa mga pagsasalita. To what extent na isama natin sila. Kasi nung tinanong nga ako nung linggo eh, bakit oh. eh, ayaw ko sumama sa kwan? Sa dun, sa <laughs> retreat. Sabi ko eh kasi may pinapasok kayo ng mga hindi totoong Christian, nagpapanggap lang. Kaya ayaw ko. O oh, kinukuha nila ako na bakit eh, eh, ikaw naman siya. Member naman siya ng Church of Christ. Oh. Pero kilala natin na hindi siya man siya talagang totoo. Kasi from the its, from its sources, marami nakakakilala. To what extent na, yun, sabihin natin unity. Pwede ba natin maisama sa unity of the body? Maba ng aking explanation. Tulang tanong ko ganun lang. Parang maliwanagan ang mga... Meron dyan, meron dyan mga iba na uh, naririnig. May sa ating Zoom ngayon, meron dyan stand na... Yun ang paniwala nila eh. Mababaganda magaling sa bunganga mo. Ako, kuwan kasi, gusto ko na i-clear na yan eh, ng mga ganyan na idea kasi ng mga Christian eh. Okay lang. Parang spiritual gifts. Iba't kaiba-iba tayong spiritual gifts. Sabi dito ng San Pablo, ang purpose is to unify uni 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 pa rin. Hindi na magkaiba man kayo ng gifts. Parang magkanya-kanya kayo. Kailangan may, may kaiba kayo. Ang purpose nyo para para sa kabuuhan mag-solid kayo na magkaisa kayo. Ganon din sa unity of the body. Ano sa palagay mo, Brother Bert? Well, the, the basis for our unity is that we are baptized into one body. Yun ang, yun ang kwan ni Apostol Pablo. Eh. Kaya sa simula pa lang, ay sinabi niya na no? that you are lead by the Spirit. So, ito yung panahon na kung saan yung mga Kristiano ay uh, naging bahagi ng, ng uh, Iglesia. Iglesia. Sa simula. No? So, ngayon, alam natin mga kapatid no? doon sa pag-aaral natin sa Corinto na pag-aaral niyo niya no? that everyone will reveal no? according to what he did. So as of now hindi natin pwedeng i-judge sila o oh, mali sila. No? Although yung mga doktrina na sinasabi natin antay antay ng antay ay uh, actually ay masasabi natin sila na weak brother sila. Pero dapat nuturuan sila ng tama. No? Kasi yung mga ito, karamihan niya sa noon, nang galing niya sa the same school. No? So yung, motiv uh, yung motivation nila iba. No? Uh, at uh, imbis na mag-evangelize outside the church, they are facing inside the church. 
Fishing para, expedition. Fishing expedition. Para, Baka may mahuli sila. Para meron silang makukuha. No? But, uh, you know, we, can, we cannot, uh, when a person went to our uh, assembly and was with us, we cannot say, oh, this one, dapat hindi kasama sa worship namin dito. Ano? So the same thing you know, with the, a brother with uh, a different view or opinion on certain things that we have. For example, in the collection or Bible, Bible school, so opinion actually ito na dapat ay hindi ito maging uh, basihan na hindi tayo magkaisa. No? May panahon na tayo nag nagkakaisa. Uh, siguro, uh, ang dapat natin gawin dyan ay we must be uh, uh, may mga meron tayong precaution. No? Na may mga kapatid na matitisod no? na sila ay nandoon. Instead that you are building the church or the body of Christ, it become an hindrance. No principle doon sa ating pinag-aralan noon, all things are uh, you can do everything but all things or all are not things expedient are not expedient or you don't need to do it because for our brother so ngayon mo no i uh, we cannot that you know? ako i will Kaya, kaya nga sabi ko tama yung sinasabi mo na na dapat hindi sila ibigay sa uh, yung tinatawag natin uh, leadership position especially in, in the uh, in our seminars. Kaya din sa kong mga kapatid na sa Lord's Supper misa may mga kapatid tayo na baguhan ano Pinapalid natin sa Lord's Supper, hindi dapat. Ano? Kasi gusto natin sila matuto. But they need to be uh, trained first before may sabak sila doon. Sa Lord's Supper. Ganun din dito. May mga kapatid, na may mga kapatid tayo na dapat eh, hindi naman tayo pareho ng pag-iisip. Hindi sila dapat ilagay sa mga seminars. Yun lang yung sa akin mo. Pero to to bar them to attend our seminars, uh, I think that is not uh, a good thing to, a uh, good idea. No? Let us Siguro, bar- eh, no, sa akin yung okay lang yan mag-attend, pero bigyan mo siya ng kwan, espasyo na magsalita. Kasi tama yung sinasabi mo, ang main objectives mo dyan, na hindi ka makabigay ng kwan, kasi kat Tapos katesuran, hindi kailangan magiging advance ng iniisip mo. Huwag ka na mag-iisip na, ay magaling to magsalita, makakatulong to, may pera to. Yun ang minsan iniisip natin kasi magaling magsalita o ano. Yung, yung iniisip mo, in your own, kasi kilala, kaya mo. Kaya mo panindigan na siya, ganyan ang kanyang katwiran. Pero paanong iba na kaalam yun. Sabi mo, kailangan iprotektahan natin. Yung sinasabi ni San Pablo na lahat na bagay kaya kong gawin pero hindi lahat para sa kabutihan. Diba? Not, not expedient. Kaya isipin mo maganda yan. Na, uh, magaling siya. Pero isipin mo ang kabuhan yung kailangan ng unity of the body. Kailangan magkakakuan uh, kayo sa body kung baga magka-interwine kung baga sa lubid. Nagkasama-sama ama kayo hindi kayo nagkakaibang kanyo magkasaliwat kayo ng idea na ang iba diyan bigla na lang bumitaw hihina ang lubid mo mm-hmm. ang protektahan natin yung body yung church mm-hmm. hindi yung pangsarili na kumulan pala na magaling i-entertain natin magsalita diyan kasi ang katwiran mo hindi naman nagsasalita ng against sa atin Pero iba ang kanya motive na within your mind. Kasi iba ang paniwala niya eh. Tama siya. Tayo, maaari nakikipagkuhan lang sa atin. Mm. Pero in the long run, iba ang motive niya. 
para parang sinasabi mo fishing expedition. Mari hindi ngayon, darating ng araw, baka mabulaga na lang tayo, may mawala na sa atin. Yan ang dapat natin sana kuan intindihin na sabi natin kasi kung minsan mga aktwira ng mga ibang lalo ng mga ibang preachers na wala naman ginagawang masama. Okay lang yun kung nandiyan siya, makinig siya, magkuan tayo nag nagma-attend rin tayo sa mga sa seminar kung minsan mga purong ng mga ibang churches nakikinig tayo pero hindi naman tayo pinapasalita kasi maaari sa kanila siguro baka magiging kwento hindrance tayo sa mga faith ng iba ganyan sana ang atin magiging stand kasi may mga kapatiran pa tayo ganyan eh okay lang daw yan mapasalitain natin pero tama yung sabi mo Bert ha? ang, ang, ang kwa natin ngayon moon nagbabago eh no kasi noon we are uh, actually no Uh, preventive no, ginagawa natin. O oh, preventive. So, yung mga kwan, mga kapatid tayo nag-aaral diyan sa secular sa kwan ibang uh, denominational ano school, they become open-minded no because they see yung eskwelahan nila, they open everything to every person. So dito rin sa atin, napapractice nila yan. No? Ay sabi, bakit eh, hindi natin na no, ay natin total isa naman tayo. But we need to be pre, uh, make a precaution, no. Dapat din lang nasa isip ng mga kapatiran natin, no. Yung ating for ang ating uh, intention is good, but we need to look at the the future. Consequence, yung consequence. Uh, consequences, no. Ano ba ang mangyayari, no? So, hindi tayo para-pareho ng pag-iisip sa iglesia, mga kapatid. No? So, uh, ang masabi ko dyan, dahil isa naman ang baptism natin. No? Isa naman yung simulan natin. At yung pagka, hindi natin pagkaintindi ay on the basis of opinion actually. No? Na ginawa nilang doktrina, no? Uh, Mag- magkaiba na yun brother Bert kung iba ng iniisip nila at saka doktrinal na nila issue, maging issue na yan sa doktrinal uh-huh. magkaiba na sa tinatawag na the true church at saka tinatawag na open and close parenthesis na true church rin sila kasi may differences sa doktrinal eh. hindi mo masabi na parehos lang kasi ginawa na nila doktrinal yung ganunong issue eh Mm-hmm. In opinion, maaari siguro, okay lang yan. Opinion, bawat opinion tayo, magkaiba naman tayo. Pag pagdating sa doktrinal, kailangan kung anong tama. Iyon ang atin. Kung, kung ibang kanila, kasi kung susundin mo ang kanilang roots, iba sila, hindi naman sila nakikisama sa kuni eh. Sa church, mga true church of Christ, wala sila unity sa atin eh. In, tingnan mo, nag-invite, nag-invite ba sila ng mga church of Christ sa kanilang mga, kuan na mag, maging speaker sa kanilang church? Wala, hindi sila nakikipag-compare sila, nakikipag-kwan sa atin. Pero sila, ayaw nila na kwan. Ang uh, mga church of Christ magiging bahagi sa kwan nila. Sa mga program nila. Kasi ibang kwan nila intention. Hindi dahil na kunti lang ang diferensya natin, okay lang. Mm-hmm. Hindi po ide ganoon. Kailangan may common kwan tayo. Kum komunal tayo pareho hindi pwede na magkasama magkaiba tayo unity nga eh unity of the body di ba mm-hmm. may iniingatan tayo ang church may iniingatan kasi okay. yan ang purpose din ng spiritual gifts hindi ba mm-hmm. so, more, for the right? whole for the whole body dapat turuan mo sila ay na ako nga ako eh na hot seat nga ako eh Ganun ang kuha nila eh. Human argument eh. Saan ba yan? Sa mga kapatiran na nag-invite sa mga kuha, okay lang sa mga, ayan, mga antay na magsalita. sa nila? Kasi nagsisimba ka dun eh. Lumipat ka na kasi ng kongregasyon. Para hindi ka... Wala naman sa amin sa kongregasyon. Wala naman diferensya. Kuha, ganun pa rin eh. Ang kongregasyon at ang kuha, tanama ka, okay naman ang kuha. Pero sa kanila, sa mga labas na mga program, uh-huh. magkaiba ka, Juan. Magkaiba ng purpose nila. Magkaiba sa labas. Mm. So, 
at ka na sa kurigasyon na kung saan sa loob, sa loob pariyo sa labas pariyo <laughs> lumipat ka na dyan sa dyan, malapit dyan bahala, sa na, bahala na sila sa labas o, malapit sa makura Ay, hindi, importante ah. kasi may unity pa rin, may unity. Kailangan alisin natin, hindi dahil magkaiba kayo, kuwan ka na, aalis. Kailangan maibago, may tama natin. Hmm. May tama natin. Kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na sabi mo, division na eh. Kasi inahayaan lang natin ibang ganyan ng kuwan nila, concept eh. Kaya hmm. nagkakaroon tayo ng minsan ng may grupo-grupo tayo, may faction-faction eh. May sabihin pa natin, Church of Christ yan. Oh, daming ganyan, di ba? May mga charge of Christ, ganito. Kunti lang diferensya, o oh, ganyan. Uform ka agad ng kanyang congregation. Kasi ganyan ang opinion natin, okay lang. Nangyayari yan kasi na natagiging kwan tayo, maluwag tayo. Eh. Nagkakaroon hmm. tayo ng kunting diferensya, hihiwala yan ang kagad. Kasi yun, yun, yun yung sinasabit palagi ni Kapatid ni John, na sana may, mag, may magkaroon na tayo ng kwan. Tapa, talaga pagitna sa mga differences. Eh, hindi na rin solbar palagi yan. Kaya ang pinuputikahan natin dyan, ang mga weak, mga mahina. Kaya ang gawin natin, we need to educate our members. Ano? Ay, noon pa yan mo, problema pa nun yan. No? Sa may mga... Ayan, si Brother John, pat, John, uh, John Astaris may comment dyan. Uh, malaking kuha niyan. Kaya nga nang tanong sa akin yan eh. Bad man, wala naman ako kasing naririnig sa kanila. Hindi? Na, hindi ko yung binabagit mong tao, Brad. Wala naman akong nakita sa kanya na binagit niya yung turong ganun. Hindi hmm. ko alam sa'yo kung saan mo nalimot yan eh. Kung mag- <laughs> kung sa'yo. Pasapin mo kaya sila, Brad. Na, Nag-google na rin ako eh. Hindi na akong magpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapag
ako, Brad, umatid ako sa ganyan. Hindi ako sa salita. Nakikinig lang ako na kuwan. Hindi ko sisihan yung mga kapatira kung ano yung narinig ko doon, narinig ko doon. Hindi ganun. Tapos ako, gusto ko matutuhan. Mat- 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 Matuto. Tapos, Biblia ang ating batayan. Hindi doon sa batayan nila. Kung antay man sila o oh, ano mga mga paniniwala nila sa Biblia, eh, hindi pwede yun. Uh, dapat yung ating nag-aralan. Di ba, Brother Bert? Mm-hmm. Kaya nga yung ating kumo na ag- agreement na may sabihin man na hindi sila sila dahil ibang ko nila, huwag sila pusalita ay gaya sa pinag-usapan natin gaya sa uh, <laughs> sa church Iba kasi yung paniwala nila <laughs> na kuhan ka lang yung atiliman ka lang isip mo kasi hindi mo alam kung anong background nila eh Hindi ka kasi nakikinig brad Hindi ka nagkuhan tanongin mo, tanongin mo si brother John kung sino yung mga yun Para maintindihan mo, tanungin mo. Kaya, Brad, alam ko naman yan. Hindi mo ako, hindi mo ako tanungin lang kasi akin yun. Antay, benevolence, uh, conservatives, instrumental. Uh, siya sabi ka lang ang jablo, uh, anak ka lang ni Satanas eh. Pero kay Kingdom ko ba sila? Basta tayo, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Masa... Oo, oh, oh, tama yun, tuloy-tuloy. Pero huwag natin sila na hayaan na magsalita sa atin doon. Kasi ang pinuprotektahan natin, yung mga mahihina. Kasi para nakaka-influence sila. Marami naman diyan mga magagaling na speaker na membro na church sila. Alam naman natin ibang ko nila stan. Di ba, brother? Rato. Hello, brad. Hello, brad. Di ba? Apo. Ah, kasi brad, ah, kasi po brad siguro ah, ang may difference po siguro niyan yung mga nag invite nating mga kapatid. So dapat Ang gagawin dapat ng mga, lalo na yung mga, mga kapatid natin na mga bago ngayon ng mga preachers na sila yung mga, siyempre sila yung nag-aalaga sa kongregasyon, sila rin yung mga bumubuo ng mga seminars or kung ano man mga activity yan, dapat sasalain talaga yung tagapagsalita o kung sino man ang inimbitahan. Kasi nga po, kung naman ang sinasabi ni, ano, ni Brother Mon, Yung stand niya, bakit nga ba nakakapagsalita yan dyan? Tapos nalalaman natin, antay binibulin sila kung ano man doktrina o kung ano man ang kalang motive na gusto nilang mangyari. So dapat, yung mga kapatid natin, dapat o dapat salain nila. Tama naman yon kasi hindi naman pwede na, na para bagang uh, dahil nga Ano ang kanilang pangalan sa larangan ng pangangaral o kung ano man sila, saan man sila nang galing, ano man ang tinapos nila, tapos bi- papasalitain na lang natin dyan sa karamihan ng mga kapatiras, sa mga news o kung ano man yan. Tapos sa bandang huli naman pala, mayroon talaga silang motibo na isip. Opo, yun po kasi brad eh. Tama naman, i-depend natin, i-depensahan natin ang ating... Yung sinasabi ni Brother Mo na ano, yung the body of Christ o yung uh, atin mismong aral ng Panginoon. Kasi marami talagang mga kapatid na matitisod. Sa bandang huli, uh, sa bandang huli po, ang mangyayari yung mga future ano natin, yung generation natin ngayon. Talagang ano, talagang iba, ibang iba. So yun lang po mga kapatid, siguro po sa lain, sa lain dapat ang ating mga pinapapasok or uh, ano, tagapagsalita. Yung mga organizer ang kailangan bigyan ng kwan. Yes po, yung organizer po Brad, maingat dapat po, maingat. Uh, may dagdag ko lang. Dati kasi yung tinutukoy natin na tao, uh, parang okay. Muna, tingin ko. No? Uh, pero ito... Uh, ito mga huli, uh, ito yung sinasabi ni Brother Mon na parang kapag entertain natin siya, binigyan natin ng, pap- ng papel, parang sinasabi natin na okay lang yung mat paniniwala niya. Apo. Diba? Parang okay lang yung paniniwala niya. So, yung mga kapatiran na walang alam sa isyo o hindi nila nagdadalawang isip pa o hindi pa talaga kumbinsado, baka mapaniwala niya tatanggapin nila ngayon yung mga aral na na pinapaniwalaan niya so ang next generation magiging katulad niya opo mm-hmm. yun ang magiging katulad niya paniniwala kasi sila uh, 
uh, ang pagkakakilala ko sa kanya, okay lang sa kanya yung antay na grupo. Kasi yung tatay niya antay yan eh. Okay lang sa kanya yung gumagamit ng instrumento. Oh. Okay lang sa kanya yung, yung ibang klase ng Church of Christ. Ganon. So kung yan ang paniniwala din ng lahat na magiging preacher ng Church of Christ na kasama natin, ano na magiging future ng natin? Magiging katulad na niya ang mga preacher natin. Oh, na open-minded. Ngayon, ngayon nga lamang ay, kwanda ako eh, concern na ako sa kamay nilaan. Yung mga mm-hmm. younger generation ng mga preacher, may iba na, may kaibahan ng katulad nila. May iba na okay. silang... Ano kasi yung, yung influence kasi, yung influence dahil ako magaling magsalita, parang hahangaan nila na yung mga bagong preachers. O isa rin yun. Yung mga batang preachers sa hangaan nila. Siyempre yung influence niya, yun nga, nakaka-influence. Sasangkayo na rin sila later on. Hmm. Yun ang mabigat. Kasi later on, pagka, ano, may kayat sila na maging antay na rin. Na mapaniwala na ganun yung... Ano, Okay. Hindi, lang naman, hindi lang naman antay ang issue. Eh. Yung paniniwala sa instrumento, ganun din. Oh. Well, yung lapasok natin na tao ay okay lang sa kanya ang may mechanical instrument. Paniniwalaan na rin yan ng iba. Sasabihin nila, okay lang pala eh. So, ganun na rin ang stand ko. Mm-hmm. O, ganun na. Kasi paniniwalaan. Kasi siya na niya panahon magsalita. At mayroon siyang sasabihin dyan na, ay okay lang ito ng ganito, no? So it become nandoon na sa isip ng mga kapatiran. Kaya magiging proactive tayo, wag natin hintayin na darating ang panahon sa sunod na generation magbabagong isip. Ngayon pa lang putulin na natin ang sungay. Kasi magkasungay yan ng mga li- Ay sabi kasi mas masyado tayo ng magiging kuan eh. Open tayo eh. Kasi ang katwiran natin, hindi naman nagsasalita ng laban sa atin eh. Oh, pero alam mo kung anong istorya niya. Ano nga, Hindi naman alam mo ng istorya, alam ni Brother John ng istorya yan, ng tao yan. Bakit pa pala natin na magsalita diyan? Dahil hindi dahil hindi nagsasalita laban sa atin, pero pinopromote siya yung ibang doktrina na hindi sinasabi sa Biblia, yan ang stand nila. Kaya hindi na natin kailangan bigyan siya ng pagkataon na magsalita diyan kasi paano kung may mga nakakilala sa kanya na iba, iba to, hindi naman Church of Christ to eh. Ginagamit siya lang yung Church of Christ, pumapasok diyan Pero ang history niya, hindi talaga sa Church of Christ, kasi ibang stand niya eh. Yun ang uh, nagiging kwan sa mga organizer, mali diyan kasi nagiging practical sila eh. Kasi kung mag- magaling o may pera, okay lang sa kanila. O hindi naman nagsasalita ng ano eh, laban sa atin eh. Pero tingnan natin ang motive, ang anong pagkatao niya. Oh, Brother Jun, tingnan mo si Brother Jun Patricio, alam niya na yung kilala niya yon. Oh, nasalita na siya na ibang tao to. Oh, ngayon, alamin mo no, alamin mo. Oh. Pwede ka magtanong, pwede ka magtanong sa kay Brother Jun kung sino yon. Anong tao, anong tao? <laughs> Mas mali nga sila kung sasama ka sa kanila. Uh, yun lang nakikita ko ngayon na danger. Danger yun eh. Uh-huh. Dahil, tang- dahil tanggap natin siya. Kung natin ayusin yan eh, yung iba naman talaga. Juan, uh, napakarami nila. Di mga kasama natin ang iba dyan eh. Kaso, siyempre, paano natin... Uh, yun, na nga, yun, lang, yun lang ang problema, Brad. Nagsimula na dyan eh. Dahil tanggap siya ng marami. Uh, delikado na yan yung mga paniniwala niya katigal, katagalan na okay lang ang ganit po okay lang yung ganun paniniwalaan na rin yan ng karamihan so ano mangyayari okay. sa atin yan nga po Brad totoo oh, po yan, yan. yan Ka- kumbaga wag na natin kumbaga sa baseball pa wag na natin papuntahin sa first base bago pa lang <laughs> sa first base kailangan ma-out na siya Kasi so, baka magkaroon ng home run yan, mag- magkaroon ng run yan. Eh. Ang sunod na generation ng kabawa. Kasi madali ang sinungaling dumami. Madali ang dumami ang sinungaling sa mundo. Kaya iningatan natin yan. Ako hindi naging personal, kundi gusto ko lang na kuan kung anong tama, kung anong klaseng kuan yan, pamamalakad. 
Ah, uh, okay lang kung siguro o okay lang makinig siya diyan o kwan. Pero yung pas, once na bigyan mo siya ng pagkatao magsalita, you are he is occupying yung time na yun para sa kanya. Paniwala niya. Mm-hmm. Hindi man siya nagsasalita pero yung motive niya ibay. Eh, oh, okay. buti kundi okay, but okay kung sa mga symposium maaari siguro yung mga doctrinal kung minsan treat treat pasalitain mo hindi iba, ibang motive yan, yan eh o siguro brother John alam mo na kung sino yun anong klaseng tao yun ay wag na natin ni Kwan iintayin pa na magkaroon siya ng pagkakataon ano yung gagawin talaga natin sa ating Kwan Ang, ang tanong kaya, ang tanong ano kaya naman ang motive nung nag-imbita sa kanya? Dalawa ang motibo yun. Dalawa ang motibo na nag-imbita sa kanya? Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya tanungin mo yung, uh, yung organizer yun. Ikaw uh, mo yung opinion. Ang mo. Wala pa sa membro ko dyan. Siguro eh. Dati yung nakikinto na sa akin. Tapos napunta dyan sa kabitin. Basta, yun ang isipin ninyo. Iba ang paniniwala talaga niya sa atin. Ngayon, hmm. yung, uh, as individual, okay naman siya. Pero ang paniniwala niya, kakaiba. Ngayon, pag tinatanggap siya, hindi sabihin, yung mga aral niya, uh, hmm. tang- matatanggap din niya ng katagalan. Oh, Gaya ng tatanggapin yung ar- kasi sinasabi niya okay lang kung ganito, okay lang kung ganon. Oh, eh tinatanggap pa rin ng ng kuan, ng iba. Pag, marami, uh, marami pa sila. Pag ang uh, nakarinig yan bagong miyembro ng church. Oh, pwede pala eh. Oh, ganoon 'yun. Okay oh, yun, Alam natin <coughs> 'yun. Kasi matagal na, makokondisyon na isip nila katagalan, ay pwede pa lang ganoon. Oh, okay. Kaya, Susunod, pag nagturo sila, ganun na. Parehas na sila. Mm-hmm. So, so, ang Church of Christ, pakaliwa uh, ng pakaliwa. <laughs> kaya, kaya, brother John, nung umpisa yan, nung hindi ko pa alam ang issue yan, tama yun sa iyo eh. Kung sa umpisa yan, kung di mo alam, okay lang pala eh. Hmm. Kaya katagalan, tuloy-tuloy na siya, nandyan na siya, nakapinitrate na siya. Hindi mo lang mamalayan, tuloy to ah, regular na siya nagsasalita pero sa kasi wala naman wala naman umaangal eh wala okay. naman nagsasabi na ibang ibang klase ng tao to wala naman mm-hmm. kung nagsasabi na ganitong motive niya anong history ng pagkatao niya oh kaya nga tama pa yun ah, wag na natin hintayin pa na may makwan pa siya may makulimbat inimbita pa nga ng lokal na kongregasyon eh Ayun, kapag salita nila eh. <laughs> meron po, meron. <laughs> yan ang kwarang luwang ko. Nagsisipa ba- doon sa ibang Church of Christ. Eh? Opo. May ano, nagbibigyan pa ng ano recognition at certification. Oh, talaga ha? May motibo pa uh, nag-invite ha? Opo, kaya nga yung mga future, ay uh, yung mga ano po natin ngayon, yung mga press na ano natin ngayon, preacher, hindi sila nagtatanong kasi sa mga senior preacher. Yung ibig sabihin ko, yung mga nauna na mga matatandang preachers, mm-hmm. hindi sila naghihingi po ng mga idea or mga advice kung ano magandang gawin. Ganun na ba yung sa Metro Manila, mga bata na yung mga preacher doon? Marami, mas mar- marami na silang tumaangking leaders. Marami na mga bata ngayon, mga preacher sa Metro Manila. Hindi naman sila mga full-time preacher, pero umaapin. Mm, kaya nakakabahala. Kapag hindi sila ma-educate, kasi alam mo naman ng mga bagong preacher, more on pulpit preaching lang eh. Hindi na gukuha ng mga kwan, history, historical. Importante rin yan, alam natin. Hindi nag-aral sa CPI, brad eh. Ay, talaga. Yun, history yan ng CPI eh. Kaya pala mag sa evangelism yo, back to the basic. Oh. Ano ba yung ikaw? Ito yung nakikita ngayon. Sige, alam natin. 
alam na natin. Ulit-ulit na natin, so alam na natin na gagawin. Basta yun ang ating uh, concern. Concern natin yun eh. Tanggap natin siya, tanggap natin yung aral niya, katagalan yung marami sa atin, gagaya na sa kanya. Yeah, yun lang. Meron nga binuong group Meron nga binuong group sa Messenger eh. Parang may mga batang preachers, parang ano, a movement for unity yung gusto nilang gawin. Kaso kinik nila ako. <laughs> Ayan. Oh. Na, na accident na at si Arnold. Oh, na, sa Metro Manila yan, Brother Bert. Oh. Kaya yung unity na gusto nilang palabasin, parang yun ang stand nitong pinag-uusapan natin. Okay lang. At ano, anong paniniwala mo, okay lang. Sa, sa mga issues ba? Wala nung marinawala mo sa mga issues, okay lang, kahit ano ka dyan. Oh, differences. Oh. Oh. Nalaman nilang kay Manong Diyon ako, ikinik nila ako bigla. <laughs> oh, yun, yun. Oh, <laughs> naging, yung iba kasi naging modernized na eh. Okay lang, parang parang hindi tayo, wala tayong kaibahan sa iba na tanggap lang ng tanggap tayo na hindi karapat dakwan. Nagiging practical na tayo. Na wala nang spiritual sa atin kung minsan na kailangan bis back to the bible tayo back to the basic ganun na kulang kaya mas maganda na paulit-ulit natin to i kun eh pinag-usapan palagi to eh marami ko kasi madali magkun eh magpadami ng kasinungalingan eh ang mahirap diyan ang mahirap diyan dinidepensahan pa ng mga iba tatin kapatiran okay lang daw Eh, okay lang daw kasi eh, lang naman. Wala naman nagsasalita ng laban sa atin. Hindi, y- hindi yun ang kwan eh. Ang issue dyan eh. Yung kwan niya, yung pagkatao niya, bakit nandyan siya? Buti hmm. kung mag-submit siya to baptism, <laughs> sabihin mo, uh, nandyan siya magbago siya ng kwan. Niwala. Okay lang yun. Basahin mo sa kanila, Mon, yung Lucas chapter uh, ano, 11. <laughs> you is not with me, it's against me. Diba, pwede kayo pareho, di ano? <laughs> eh, dami nga, nag, dami nga nagsisimpatay siya, mga preacher pa dyan eh. Mahirap ka kung minsan ikaw ako, Juan. Mabuti kung... Harapan yung mabuti kung basketball yan ang limahan. Kung mm-hmm. ikaw lang magkwan, siyempre iba, iba argumento nila pa na hindigan nila ng kwan. Ganyan ang ngayon mga ibang side eh. Kung minsan, nakakapahala kung minsan na ganyan ang ibang mga preacher natin naging practical lang. Na wala nang spiritual about the kwan based on the Bible. Hindi na kita yung future ng church ngayon lang. Yan ang importante, pangalagaan natin, future ng church, unity in the body. Oh, Brother Moon, Brother Moon, ano kaya kung kausapin mo yung local congregation ninyo? Baka makonvince mo sila na huwag nang sumali, di may isa kang one step ka na. <laughs> yan, ang minsan, yan minsan sa local congregation natin. Yan ang may mga problema. Minsan ang leadership ko minsan, lalo na kapag... Na Leadership, oh. lalo na kapag ang leadership sa church ko minsan naka, <laughs> nakagamot na eh. Minsan hindi mo na mababali eh. <laughs> May gamot na eh. Ganyan lang stand. Pag nauna na sila dyan, sila yun ang talagang masusunod. E yan ang mahirap sa mga sinauna ng mga nauna sa congregation. Baka pa niyan, unscripturally organized. <laughs> organized sila pero unscriptural. Oo. Oh. Kaya nakakabahala, Brother John, na madat na ng mga kwan natin, mga anak natin. All things are permissible, but not are expedient. Okay. I-apply mo yan. Hindi talaga over yung kinasabi natin. Kinasabi nyo. Pero mo patakas ka doon. Naisipin nyo na lang, kung lahat na mga preacher, kung marami sa mga preacher natin ang katulad na niya, paano na? Naisipin nyo. Kaya na, parang kabuti yan, Brad, John. Dadami yan kapag marami ang maniwala doon sa isa. 
Kadami ang gawang multiple yan. Ano wala sa kanya? Yung mga special na iba na mga matatagal na, katulad na brother Nate, hindi eh, naman ganun ang standing nila sa kanila. Eh, kung ano eh, pinapasok nga doon, kaya kung ano eh, sila naman hindi naman ganun. Yung mga naturuan ng surprise talaga. Ah, hindi naman hindi ko na isip dyan. Yung mga preacher dyan sa kongregasyon ni Mon, talagang makuan yan eh. Ma... Dati ha? Talagang masigasig yan magsabi, oh hindi pwede yan, no? Hindi ba na, no? Mga mas kung, bata na, <coughs> yung mga bas, mas bata ang preacher nyo. Hmm. Well, kung yung mga leader na yan ay dating, very, very conservative, at naging open-minded, abay, lalo na yung mga bagong preacher. Yun ang nakikita ko, Brad, doon yung mga preacher na kaedad nyo, eh, wala man akong kuhan. <laughs> Hindi, <laughs> ba't nila pinapayagan? Oo. Gusto, gusto ba nila gusto ba nilang paniwalaan din ng mga younger preacher yung paniniwala ng tao na yan? Taon-taon na yan. Palagi na yan. Hindi lang yung kuhan. Nasusunod. Doon na naman sa lugar. Brother John, nasusunod na ako nila sa lugar niya na. Ay, dati na. Dati na doon, di ba? Dating na sila doon. Nakakuha niyo ng pandemya. Hindi na tuloy. Hindi lalo tuloy nung pandemic. Ito, ito, nagkaroon ito, na ng production doon sa kanila. Oo. Naging mitan na kasi kasama na siya eh. Oo. Ngayon siya na maging mitan doon sa lugar nila. Okay lang sa kanila. Di ba brother John Patistares? Ah. Yung nga nagbabalita na may problema yung Metro Manila eh. eh Ipanalangin daw yung Metro Manila na maraming may problema doon. Eh, dagdagan niya pa. May problema ng Metro Manila. Makisausap pa siya na ibang paniwala niya. Ibang paniwala niya eh. Hindi nagkakasundo kasi mayroong kumukontra. Oo. May yung kumukontra. Huwag na natin ako. May mga motibo sila, no? Kaya... Kaya parang ginugulong ay eh. Hindi ko ba alam na antay siya Brad. Kaya nung sinabi niya na nagkakagulo eh, baka siya antay lang. Baka, baka siya magulo kaya ako. Hindi lang po sa mga istrina na hindi lang antay. Na mali. Yung idea ng uh, door knocking, inaano na rin eh, na bakit daw nagdo-door knocking eh. Na-open up din yan sa Manila. Oo oh, talaga ha? Kaya na ano ano yung mga ano mga batang preacher na ano. Galing na sa kanila siguro yun, mga ganun. Pinento ni JB yun eh, na parang question ni Gideon yung pagdodor na aking nila. Eh doon pa nga lang doon, kung papayagan nila mag, ang purpose ng ano ng news is for evangelism. Tapos kung siya pa yung gagawin nilang speaker, parang ang labo yata kasi door na door na aking yun, tapos kinikwestiyon niya parang Malayo uh, doon sa principal. Malayo doon sa principal. Kontra doon sa ano, sa uh, aim ng news. Sa aim ng news. Kaya wala, wala na kami. Unity. Bakit sila, si, siya pa rin yung gusto nila. Ano? Walang unity yan. How can a man to walk together? <coughs> Hello, Brad. Hindi sila mag-agree. Uh, Hello, Brad. Makukunwari ka yung nakapuan. Magiging kuan ka dyan. Eh, masisilo ka dyan sa mga patibong nila. Mga patibong nila yan eh. Huwag na natin papasokin yan. Kung oh, ano man motibo ng ibang leader yan, hindi na natin hintayin na mangyari pa yan. Ulit-ulit oh, ulit na eh. Ilang alas, taon alas, na eh. Si Brad, bawin mo natin sa Brother sa Pilipinas. Ngayon ang kan mo, dapat eh, kausapin mo sila. Alas dosi na, alas dosi na. Mga kwan yun. Ni ako hindi ako bridge kwan mga mali leader na yon mga pero mas tumbo kwan na yon eh ba mo solution diyan wala mo ni kwan agad wala ko hindi kasi sila naniniwala sa mga malalaking kwan na mga matatanda sa kwan mga graduate sa PBC akin pa lalo na papaniwalaan kanila mo kasi may mukha hindi magagulo magkuan lang kami Mag-argumento lang kami dahil isipin niya, hindi ka naman PBC, hindi ka naman doktorit, 
Magpagsalita ka sa amin yan. Kami, graduate kami ng PBC. Kailangan na ilalaban mo dyan, PBC rin. Para may, kumbaga sa kwan, pareho sentro. May rap ka na, ang diet mo, makakalaban ka sa kwan. Maghintay ka, brother. Oh, kailangan. Maghintay ka, brother mo. Magiging bachelor's ka ng CPI. Hindi. <laughs> Kasi ang iba dyan, iba dyan, nakala mo, nag, uh, kung makampi, nagkukunwari lang eh. Pagdating sa kwan finals, doon kakampi sa iba eh. Nagkukunwari lang kung minsan yung iba eh. Hindi, iwanan ka sa iri. Oo. Oh. May trap mong ganun ng mga kristyano rin. Na... Matapos sa alas 10 at 2 minutes, alas 2 minutes. Ako muna, ako muna. Kung mali sa iba, dinadaan nila sa butuhan. Dalawang beses na yung nangyari yan. Uh, sa Metro Manila, nagmili sila ng speaker. Dinadaan nila sa butuhan, nanalo si Gideon. Sino yung Gideon yan? Iba yung original. Ano yung original? Talaga ha? <laughs> Mga balik na din ako ko muwi na sa. Yan nga, yan nga. Ayaw niya ayaw niya dati hindi siya hindi, hindi niya kinikilala yung karamihan. Pero yung karamihan okay. gusto siyang kilalanin. <laughs> <laughs> Kapakamot ulo, ulo si Brother Edward. Binasa sa butuhan, nanalo siya, no? Nung nagkita-kita ulit nandoon ako, hindi o nag-object ako. Mm-hmm. Uh, hindi para hindi pa para tapos 'yon. Itong huli nawala na naman ako, nadala na naman sa butuhan daw. Uh, sino naman ang sino na naman ang tanong kung dadaan na naman sa butuhan kung tanggap kung tanggap yung tao na yun o hindi so ito na ito na sa paramihan eh hindi lahat ay nakukuha sa paramihan oo mahirap yun kaya butuhan lang pala ang mga kuhan eh tumakampi sila pareho sila sino bang hook mo yun dyan Uh, ang meeting naman ay palipat-lipat. Uh, sino yung host ng uh, no, nung, uh, evangelism? Ano? Uh, mayroong mga kan eh. Ayaw ko paano sila naging, naging kuan, organizer. May tatlo o apat organizer niya na parang tumatay yung organizer. Talaga ha? So, pero huwag sila magtaman eh dahil katagalan baka bawiin namin yung pangalan na Diyos. Ayaw nag-umpita niyan, Bert, eh. Oh, yeah. Sabihin natin, si gumamit ka naman pangalan, hindi yung news. <laughs> Kasi oh, kakaiba na. Oo, may ikuan pala yan. May copyright na. Oo. Oh. Copyright na yung news. Eh. Uh, katagalan, gagano'n din natin. Kap- Dudumihan pa nila. Si Gideon yan. Ngayon, naniwala ka na ba na kami ay member ng church noon, hindi ka naniwala eh. Oo. Oh. Kaya hindi Kapag- alam. Kapag- Alaman nila na nung unang araw si Gideon ay nagsasalita na siya lang ang tutuong kristyano. Hindi <laughs> nila alam yan eh. Hindi nila alam. So, mabigat po pala Vlad yung mga sinasabi niya noon. No? Oo. Siya lang ang kristyano noon yung kongreso. Oo. Kaya, kaya hindi, hindi, hindi maganda yung ano. Hindi, hindi lang yun pag uh, nung na nung ano nasa pulpit mo sasabi nung pinayagan namin mag youth camp doon sa Dasul sabi niya lahat ng doon mismo sa pulpit na nag-sermon siya lahat daw ng nag-attend doon eh mapupunta sa dagat-dagatang ano ganun <laughs> pwede oo oh! oh, sama si Bert noon <laughs> eh kaya kami yung malis doon eh kaya kami yung malis Dapat tanong siya ngayon. Naniwala ka na ba? Para tapos, ma- tapos yung si Gideon na yun, yung si Gideon na yun, inimbita yan ng, ng Batangas. Uh-huh. Yung speaker ng mga preacher doon. Kumunta uh-huh. nang bigyan nila ng parangal ang mga preacher. Narari nila yung... Bigyan nila yung parangal, ha? Oo. Narari nga. Hindi nga yung time na Question, question kami brad eh regarding sa mga honorary na yun kasama nila yung mga unhonorable person unhonorable <laughs> <laughs> meron din kami ng issue noong time na yun eh yan sabay-sabay sila doon doon kami nag ano nang ano nang oh yung organizer mismo hindi pa lang <laughs> ino-honor nila yung hindi dapat i-honor mm-hmm. may isa pa doon inaway nila nung buhay pa nung patay na 
inonor nila. Oo, oh, talaga. <laughs> Meron kasi lang sulat kontra, kan- kontra sa kanya eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi alam ito ng karamihan, pero sinulatan nila, pinirmahan ng mga preacher sa Cavite. Oh. Tapos nung namatay, i-honor nila. Napaka-inconsistent nila, hypocrites. Yeah, oh, right. hypocrites yun. Kaya nga, huwag na tayo maging hypocrites na kakampihan natin ng mga ibang paniwala. Dahil hindi nagsasalita pa laban sa atin, pa bigyan lang natin sila ng karapatan. Mahirap na, darating ang araw, mabulaga tayo. O, luwan pa sa mga bigyan ka na ng ano. Bigyan ka na ng certificate ng CPI, Brad, para makarap mo yung mga ating PBC. Hindi <laughs> nga naniniwala sa mga doktorit pa eh. Ngayon eh. Ay sila, sila ang takwan eh. Pero kung minsan, kita, kailangan ang nga sa atin lang, kung di man sila, basta itama natin anong tama. Itulok, itulak natin anong tama. Okay, para manindig man. nila na ibang stand natin. Hindi tayo nagkukun, anong tawag, nagkukunwari. O hindi natin ina-agree ang gusto nila. Okay. Kaya importante na narinig. Alam ni Brother Jun yan. Sigurado ipaparating ni Brother Jun yan. Skaris. Malapit siya doon eh. Malapit sa kusina yun eh. Lagi ka naman ng kantin eh. Ito nga dyan. Lagi ka naman na-invite eh. Buti ako, pumapayag sa invitation. Ikaw hindi. Okay, mag- oh, okay lang ako mag-usap-usap lang. Mag- usap, usap lang. Okay lang. Pero pag nagdating, imbitahin mo siya. Huwag so, tayo, open tayo. Nag-agree ka kasi na okay lang imbitahin siya eh, sa mga salita. Kailangan eh. ko sinabi sa iyo yan. <laughs> mayarap yung maging, mayarap yung Brad John maging balimbing. Kung anong tama, kung anong upal, yun ang palindigan mo. Hindi, wala Hindi na, pagdating sa kwan, ibang stand mo, pagdating dito sa Zoom, iba rin stand mo. Hindi, gusto mo, magsabago na ako. Hmm. Hindi na ako sasama sa inyo lahat. Gusto ko lang ako sa General Pias. <laughs> diba? Iwasan ko dyan, iwasan, iwasan kita, at saka na andun, iwasan kita. Hindi, joke lang, Brad. Kung naman, masyadong <laughs> So, kasi ako, gusto ko lang Juan, mag, uh, magpalago ng Juan. Kalaman. Hmm. Eh, Brad John, ibalik mo na lang nga lang ang Pasay para walang gulo. Sa Pasay? Hindi naman tayo umiwali kay Brad John. Alam Brad? At natawa si Brad, si teacher John ha, Patricio. Reunion na lang muna tayo, reunion lang. Uh, ah, Brad? Reunion na lang tayo. Reunion muna. Uh. Opo. Oh, Kasama okay, na rin yung plan. Kasama na rin ba yung plano? Kasama na rin ba yung plano? <laughs> Pag-usapan natin. Pag-usapan natin yun. Kasi para may instant na tayo. Pa. Nawala na yung pa. Ay, eh. Pag-usapan natin yun doon. Oo, oh, kasi natin. kasi kapag 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 ging balik yung pasay abat nagtulong-tulong yung mga ano. <laughs> mga ano, ma- <laughs> mawawalis. Mawawalis, tama. Alay, pinapawisan na ako. Tapusin <laughs> 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 na natin. Tulugin ang may kawain pa si Brother Bird. Pag-upsila pa ako mamaya, isang oras na lang. Ken, Ken, Brother Ken, Nel, napakilid mo ng prayer natin. Sige po. <laughs> <laughs> 